everyone, I'm Sal Sincata, and in this month's product review, we're going to review the brand new Tamron 2470 G2. All right, so as you may or may not know, I am a Canon shooter. Uh, and so I'm always a little hesitant when I look at third-party lenses. I never know what to expect. Uh, I try not to get my hopes up too high, but I will tell you that Tamron has consistently uh, delivered great glass. So it's really interesting to see and, of course, uh, play with. So a couple of the features that I am uh, impressed with things that just feel different and feel right. The lens feels incredibly uh, well constructed, right? So I know it's always hard on video uh, to really communicate what we're seeing, what we're feeling when we try to do these product reviews. And I don't like to get into tech specs. All that stuff is online, right? If you're like, want, if you're a diehard tech spec person, hey, go for it. More power to you. I, for one, am not. I want to know how the lens is going to look, feel, and perform in the field. Those are obviously the most important things to me. And so. First uh, kind of look at the lens when I took it out of the box, well constructed, it's got good weight to it, it's not overly heavy for the sake of being heavy, but it's a 2.8 lens, right? So it's going to have some big glass on it, uh, which is naturally going to make the lens a little bit more heavy, but that's a good thing because we want that fast glass. So it feels really good and well constructed. Now, one of the things that caught my attention the second I opened it up were these, um, the buttons on the side to go from autofocus and your image stabilization to turn that on. And I, I think they, they call it VC, vibration control, something like that. Every manufacturer calls it something different, but it's basically your stabilization. Uh, and so these knobs are really well constructed. Here's why. Uh, and so I'm not knocking Canon's glass or anything like that by, by any chance, but their autofocus focus knob is very slimline, which can be a good thing, but I can't tell you how many times, and I don't know if anyone's ever had this happen, uh, where I, I'm grabbing lenses, changing lenses, and it switches from autofocus to manual focus on the lens. And if you're using a wide-angle lens, every picture is going to be blurry, and you're not going to know why. So I've had that happen multiple times. So that was the first thing that really grabbed my attention before I started working with the lens, uh, was that these knobs, man, they feel really good, well done, well constructed. Um, Next thing is comes with a lens hood. Uh, it's 2.8, so you've got fast glass. Also very, very important. If you're a wedding and portrait photographer and you want that shallow depth of field uh, or you're in low light situations, you need fast glass, man. Spend the extra money, right? This Tamron lens is not that expensive and you're gonna get 2.8 performance uh, out of it. And I can't tell you as a wedding photographer how important that is uh, to get that extra stop or two of light. It may not seem like a big deal, going from 2.8 to 4.0, but man, when you get those final pictures back and you gotta push your camera to higher ISO to perform, it's gonna make a huge difference. So I love that about it. Now, the next thing I always like to do is get out and use it. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm sitting here thinking to myself as I'm getting ready to, to do this review, what am I gonna photograph right now? I don't have any models or photo shoots going on at the moment, and no lie, uh, a little like town marathon started running through the front of the studio. So. I threw the lens out on, ran outside, and just started taking pictures uh, with it. And so I was immediately uh, blown away by how quickly it's focusing, uh, finding targets. I was having no trouble uh, getting focus on the targets. And then you're going to see some of those final results, right? They're not wedding or portrait pictures, but you got running subjects, and we're getting great performance out of this lens. So. If you're looking for that mid lens, right, it's not super wide, it's not a 16 millimeter lens, uh, it's definitely not your 7200, it's right in that middle range, uh, and there's three lenses I always say every wedding uh, portrait photographer should have, that's 1635, 2470, 7200, and so you've got that range covered, this is that middle lens that you have to have in your bag, that 2470, uh, and so if you're in the market for it, I highly uh, suggest you take a look at the uh, Tamron 2470, it's going to perform, it's going to deliver good results as you can see. Enjoy.